GPCR second messenger system. There is a GPCR adenyl cyclase cyclic AMP second messenger system. There is a GPCR phospholipase CIP3 DAG second messenger system. They're the two most common. This one's the most common. So essentially what happens is, now just listen, and I'll show you the details in a minute. If a signal binds to the receptor, and that activates the G protein, the G protein will activate adenyl cyclase, and adenyl cyclase will turn ATP into cyclic AMP. You now have the second messenger. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. Do you have cyclic AMP if you don't have the signal? No. Mm -hmm. You got ATP. Is there always ATP in a cell? Mm -hmm. Add the signal. Activate the G protein, activate adenyl cyclase, turn some of the ATP into the second messenger cyclic AMP. Then the cell knows, hey, there's cyclic AMP in here, what's going on? There must be something outside, right? Or, have a signal, bind the receptor, activate G protein, G protein activates phospholipase C. Phospholipase C, phospholipase breaks down a phospholipid. Do you always have phospholipids in cell membranes? Yes. yes. And if we activate phospholipase C, it breaks it down into inositol triphosphate. That's the sugar on the phospholipid. Diacylglycerol is what's left, the glycerol plus the two fatty acids. Diacyl, di to acyl fatty acids. Do you with me on that? Do you have IP3 and diacylglycerol when you don't have a signal? No, you have a phospholipid. You have this. Right. What do you have when phospholipase C is active? You have this. It splits them. Okay, is that good? And then the cell says, oh my gosh, look what's present right here. There must be a signal outside. And then there's some response. You okay with that? So the language, the, the wording, tells you exactly what's happening, but I realize it's a mouthful. Right. And But it tells you exactly what's going on. Okay. Oh, and then the last one, mm, we probably won't see too many cases of this one throughout. We'll see cases of all of these throughout the term. We probably won't see too many cases of this one throughout the term um, because okay. it causes cell motility. It causes the cell to change shape. And I can't think of any examples right off the top of my head where, where that's going to be too important for us. Um, but that's called an 